How's it hanging, fellas? Sam Otters, and this is another episode of Yakuza 4, and in today's episode... Well, we don't have any pressing matters right now, so I can walk around, fuck around, and do whatever I want. First of all, I have some keys that I might want to spend. Might want to spend not on that fucker up there. Oh, what the fuck? What's up? How's it going? Tired of carrying around my stuff, I came out here to Kamarocha after fighting with my dad, so I was thinking I could store my stuff here and march out. But even when I asked the guy who owns this block of lockers if I could use one, he just told me not happening. Guess they weren't lying when they said the city is cold as ice. Coin lockers too. This guy with the green fro was using these here lockers earlier. Maybe he's like one of them VIPs? VIPs? You mean Bob? I don't fucking know about Bob being a fucking VIP. He's more of a piece of shit if you get me. That's some stuff you can get from him, but like... Blue Fox. I got something called Blue Fox, but it's like... I got something called Red Fox earlier, and I had no idea what to do with it. And so this episode, we have no pressing matters. Mystery Liquid. And honestly, I think I'm gonna utilize this to kind of walk around, do some side quests. Last episode, we finished up... Uh, I mean, we finished. We have finished. Those, like, strange... What was that? I've seen a prompt. Where is it? I've just seen it. Where is it? I, I heard a sound. I hear it. What could it be? Is it behind it? Man, these keys are gonna be the death of me. I have no idea where they are. But I'm not just gonna let them be. Oh, what the hell? I was supposed to notice that. What? Fucking pick it up, damn it. Now that one's for the normal lockers, not those underground lockers. Also, since I have a lot of shit, I might as well go and sell it. I'm here to sell. I'm here to give you an offer you cannot refuse. I don't know what this garbage is for, so I guess I'm gonna sell it. Red jewel doesn't really do much. Oh, it's for roulette. Well, I don't fucking care. Offers a small amount of protection against harm. Mystery liquid. You know what? These are all items for crafting weapons. I don't think I'm gonna give a shit about that too much. Also, I don't care about these items that will like, increase my luck in gambling. That sucks, I don't really care about it. Because if I did care about it, I would end up with an equipment filled with a bunch of bullshit that I would never end up using in the end. See, we got something called the blue fox. Now, where is it? What is the blue fox? I don't see it. I don't see anything that resembles a fox in my equipment. Also, we are not on full health, so maybe I should... There it is. Maybe I should go grab a burger. Why not? I ate a burger earlier today. Was it any good? Well, I made it, so... It wasn't. Is it called Smile Burger? I love it. Here. See, in Yakuza Kiwami 2, it was nice because you could eat as much as you want. See, I can't eat anymore because my health is full. But that kind of sucks because... In Yakuza Kiwami 2, whenever I entered a restaurant, I just simply ordered everything they had. Because it gives you XP. See, I got what, 82. Not very much, but it's still experience. XP is XP, like Gothic players would say. Fighting a 
fucking bug at maximum level. Or near maximum level, I guess. So should I go back to that guy and do all these, like, tougher versions of his challenges? Because I don't even know what these are. But we might as well try him out. And there's even more fucking garbage in these lockers. I mean, since we last episode started those challenges, I might as well finish them. Goddess of children. See, we get healing items out of it, so that's worth it. Got a pearl, that's nice. Prismatic jacket? Gravity converter, now that sounds fucking crazy. Antique chainmail. That might actually be better than, than what I got. Oh man, this shit is really good. See, it was worth it. This one gives me 5 defense, but this one also gives me some gun defense. I would love to have this one, but I've gotta have the stupid speed detector equipped because as you can see it makes sound. Do you see a key anywhere? There it is. Out of my way, old man. Now oh, shut up, I found it. Wait, so what key is this? Is it this one? And these keys are the death of me, I hate them. Holy fuck, spicy knife. So it sounds kind of dumb. Spicy fucking knife. Oh my god, still? How many fucking keys are there? What is this one? I hate the fact that they sometimes put them like on trees and shit. That's another thing in Kiwami 2. At least all the keys were on the ground. Why did it make a different sound? That was at least a nice thing, that all the keys in the game were very well visible, so you didn't have too much trouble looking for them, like in this game. And additionally... They were all on the ground. None of them were hidden up on fucking rooftops or bullshit like that. Now where the fuck is this supposed to be? You're expecting to find it from these vague sounds? At least I know that they're somewhere around here. Like, oh there it fucking is, I see it. Now I was talking about visions, the next vision short was uh... It was about a dancer, like, performing on stage, who was also, like, a rebel. And she ended up putting, like, tracking devices on a bunch of Imperial soldiers. And then we find out backstory that her kid was kidnapped a long time ago, and apparently that kid grew up to be an Imperial officer. It kind of got me thinking that Imperial... That the Empire, I, you know, like, never heard them... It's like, i never seen the Empire be, like, racist towards any kind of, like, alien race. Because I, I guess Star Wars is trying to avoid subjects of racism and shit, but... I think the Space Nazis would be racist to some group of aliens, but they never were. But now that I think about it, all the Stormtroopers are human. All the Imperial officers are human as well. And they believe in human superiority. I can get behind that, I guess. Hey, you schmuck. You see any keys around here, dipshit? A patrolling area, I don't fucking see anything. Why are they, like, running around in circles? What is wrong with them? Oh, 
Oh no, it's clearly in this area somewhere. Still chasing me? God damn it. Thought I got him off the back. I forgot I have weapons with me. He doesn't in this game, you cannot pick up weapons and you can only use the ones you already had pre equipped. Where did these guys come from and why are they black and blade? This is for teasing me. Or more like taunting me, that's what I meant to say. Throw, don't throw it. Kill. And build up heat, I wanna do some cool shit. Don't die on me. Come on, man. I gotta kill you spectacularly. That's the worst fucking finisher with a katana I've ever seen. Beat him up with it. Like what, with the doll edge? Oh, I was fucking trash, kind of. Thank you for a healing item. I did get kicked once or twice in that fight. God damn it, where's this fucking key? It's gonna drive me fucking insane. Stop making sounds. Where is it? Right, the sounds are back, but... Oh, fucking god, I didn't even... Where? Where, exa where is it? Yeah, I was supposed to notice that. Oh, fuck you, this is garbage. I hate you so much. Yeah, so the Empire, I don't know, doesn't employ aliens, I guess? But like, the officer that, you know, in that short was an alien. It's just that these aliens look almost exactly like humans, but they have like, tiny horns on their heads. Much like people who are way too much into piercing do. And he had them, but he had them, like, cut off. Also, he was kidnapped as a child and, I guess, raised by an Imperial officer and blah blah blah. Because the lady at first tries to kill the officer, only to realize that it's her son. So then she does. And also, combat. I did combat challenge, but it didn't... Apparently, it didn't improve anything. I don't know why. But let's try suicidal running. Sounds insane, but let's fucking do it. Suicidal running. No, it's just running, but like on the street level. For this training, I'll establish a course to follow. Your job will be to run away from me. The path if you can run five laps without running out of energy. Set up a course. How do you plan to do that? My students will take care of the traffic, so you just concentrate on your training. Take care of the traffic? I'm not sure this is such a good idea. You're not chickening out, are you? I don't plan on letting up just because a little whimpering. That much I can say. Stick with me and we'll see you become a soldier yet. But be warned, I'm going to chuck any junk or fine line on the ground at you. Press square to perform a forward roll. This will evade blah blah blah. I guess. Suicidal made it sound really crazy, but I guess it's just uh, reverse. Now I'm the one running away. Oh, nice. Locked him up. Am I really meant to just ran these laps? Uh, I don't know what prompts him up to throw shit at me. Man, fuck this guy. I don't know how many laps I ran, but I better be getting close. One more. I can do it. Ah, oh, fuck. It's really close. Jesus Christ, no! 
Oh, I fucked it up. I can't run anymore. I think I'm getting a heart attack. And that was bullshit. I don't even give a fuck what he has to say about it. Yeah, I wanna fucking redo it, you fucking piece of shit. Fucking asshole. Tossing shit at me, fucking hits me all around. Dickhead. Alright, this time I got it. Shut the fuck up. Run away. Simple as that. I don't know, maybe that heat action at the right of the bat wasn't such a good idea. Very far away. Oh, I get back energy just from touching that. Fucking dickhead. I don't know which stupid screams prompt him to throw shit at me. That one does it. Oh, I only hit it once. Man, I'm doing even worse than last time. I shouldn't have picked up that energy drink so early. I tell how rolling kind of stops me for a second. That would make sense, but I hate it. And as a video game mechanic, but that's just how it works. Because that means he can catch up to me easier. Stupid idiot. Oh, fuck it. Another heart attack. I can take it. No big deal. I can shut the fuck up and give me another chance, dumbass. Fucking asshole. Uh, suicides are definitely tougher than the normal ones. Suicide is fun. Right, different strategy. That energy drink refills my energy, so let's not fucking use it right off the bat like a moron. And maybe let's keep our heat action for later? Also, maybe keep track of how many laps I'm doing. Ah, oh, fuck it already. I wish I could use it multiple times, that'd be nice. Screaming some bullshit. Oh, fucking. Get that was the wrong bullshit. Oh, it refills my energy to the max. Oh, that would have been useful to know earlier. I think I have enough energy to run five laps, even if this jackass will be keep bullying me. Man, I fucking can't get it. Did I ask to be fucking trained by him in some bullshit fucking arts of running away? Jesus Christ. I think we got one more lap. I don't know. I think I can do it. Looks like I outrun him. There better not be a third fucking level to these running missions. Good, you pass. Watching you reminds me of that day when I've killed my own son. When I raised a cheetah to see which of us could catch a zebra first. And what? No way, that's just too fast. Oh wait. What were you doing 
it with a zebra after catching it. Oh, I fucked it. You successfully completed a suicide course. How do you feel? Uh, suicidal. Not too bad, I feel like my body is really responding to the training. Triple dash kick? And you will be able to pass my training? Looks like I was right about you. Happy to hear it, I think. I guess I should be thanking you too. Never lose that fighting spirit of yours, that's my only wish. Fighting spirit? You'll understand sooner or later. We can talk about it when the time comes. Alright, that should do it. Over and out. Not over and out. Fucking finishing this shit. Alright, there's no suicidal... I don't know, masochistic running or some shit. Suicidal shooting. That one I remember being garbage. And insanely stupid and I don't even know how to do it. Alright, welcome to target practice for the suicidal. First, point the gun at your face. Then pull the trigger. Here we'll learn how to dodge bullets. Of course, we will be using a fake gun. If you can hold out for a minute, you pass. I guess hold out implies I can't attack, right? Precisely. If you attack to shoot it even once, you fail. Are you ready? No. But I fuck it. When am I ever ready? Alright, I got no idea how to fucking do this. Not like I can roll. I guess the thing is... Alright, that was... I think doing this is actually a better strategy. None of it is a good strategy. This is all garbage. I get stun locked once I get shot even once. And these guys of course have auto aim. Look at this shit. Look at this garbage. How was I meant to do anything? Like, for fuck's sake. Fucking... First of all, they have auto aim. Second of all, they have multiple shots and they stun lock me with them. There's three of them and I can only do one evasion at a time. So when I evade, the next guy fucking shoots me, stun locks me, then the fucking second guy joins up, and it's just all bullshit and I lost all my health, you fucking moron. Thanks, you fucking piece of garbage. What about the combat training? You know what? That was great, uh, session. See you never again. That's enough for me, I think. God damn it, I'm fucking wounded as fuck. Heat completely, heat slightly. Oh wait. Health and heat. Alright, I'm in heat now, let's go. How much of this episode we got left? A little bit, we could, uh, I guess, start a side mission. Now what other stuff do we have going on in the, in the city? And I hate how you can just like halfway zoom in. You either have the whole map or you just have none of the map. It fucking sucks, I want to see a little bit of it, not all of it at once. Oh, maybe we can go and check out the batting center or maybe we can... I don't know, do this thing. There's like two side missions next to each other, next to this club. There's that guy who was passed out on the street. There's all these clubs that we might want to visit. Who knows? That's the weapon store. It's a restaurant, another club. Hot Springs. Oh, the Hot Springs have a really cool minigame. So I think for now we'll stick to the bottom half of the map. Just to kind of, you know, not do, not do too many things at once. It's a fucking sound. Stop to a halt and look for a bullshit flashy fucking object. Whenever Akiyama crouches, I feel like this is his last fucking crouch and he's never gonna get back up. Eat here. I don't know what any of these are, but they look pretty good. And I wanna buy the most expensive ones, because they're usually the ones to give you most XP. This 
this one and this one. Sounds good to me. Can you not watch me while I eat? Makes me uncomfortable. Alright, what's up with this side mission? Where is it? Financially troubled woman. I don't want a loan from you anyway. You're not the only office in Komorocho, you know. That's not the point. You've been blacklisted. It's not a loan shark in town could lend you... Lend to you now. You don't know that for sure. I'm never doing business with you ever again. Uh, I've heard you need a loan. And I am alone. Pardon me, miss. Do I hear you have money trouble? Or do you just have a little bit of trouble? And who are you? Not another debt collector, I hope. It's kind of cute. No, not at all. But I am in the same line of business as that other fellow. A money loaner. And I'd like to apply for a loan. Oh, but why bother? It's no use. Take this. Sounds like they've got you blacklisted, is that right? How much do you own? I'd say about 10 million or so. About? So you don't even know how much you borrowed? Loan sharks, credit cards, you name it. I borrowed money from it. What are you getting at? Not just that you put on a brave face for somebody so deep in debt. Nice clothes and all that. It made me wonder. What's the point in looking all pitiful just because I happen to own some people money this is not how I live after all I see fishnets nice you have something else you know that you certainly caught my attention I think I've fallen in love are you hitting on me yeah no it's not that look if you're truly ready to make a fresh start come to my office we'll start fresh sky finance on Takanechi street sky finance I've heard rumors my name is Shuna Kiyama and you are me? I'm Shokomuto. Well then, Shokasan, I hope you decided to pay me a visit. Goodbye. She's not really into me, is she? Oh, brother, what a bummer. Shokomuto, I have a feeling I'll see her sooner or later. In fact, she might already be on her way. Maybe I'll, I'll head to the office and see. What is my... Oh, look, my objective is to go back to Sky Finance. Well, if I do, I will progress the main plot. Instead of doing a side quest, so... I guess we could go and trigger another side quest? Let's go and trigger uh, one of these, because there's two next to each other. Huh? Who's this fucking creep? What's it him? He's better not be stalking my girls. Wait, am I a fucking pimp now? What is this shit? Hey, what are you doing? Whoa, shady man. Not nothing. You are sneaking a lot. A look at something. Sneaking a look? That's the first time I heard that expression. I'm uh, just waiting for somebody. For who? My mother. She works here. Well, oh, there she is. Wow. She's not half bad. She's quarter bad. Who, you mean Mickey? Oh, uh, do you know her? Mickey Mouse? Sure, I own this place. I fucking own this place? Who might you be, hmm? A stalker, perhaps? No, no, nothing like that. I just wanted to see her. You know, stalk her. Are you one of her customers? Uh-huh. Why not just go into the club then? Mm. Well, the thing is... What? Uh, I've spent more than 5 million yen here over the past 2 years and it looks like my money's finally run out. 5 million yen? And where's that in my bank account? If I own the place. That's right, I was this close to winning her over too. Yeah, I'm sure you were. If 5 million yen wasn't enough, I think it might be time to call it quits. No, I think 7 million will be just enough. Keep going. In fact, do you want a loan? <laughs> I just know I could do it if I had another million. What's your name? Come to my office. Taniguchi. I'm Akiyama. 
In addition to this club, I also run a loan office called Sky Finance. Yeah? Look, the way things are now, we've got a snowball chance... Snowball chance in hell of going out with Mickey. Huh? Even with another million yen, unless you make some changes, you could see her ten more times and still get absolutely nowhere. You look like a piece of shit, first of all, and you seem like a piece of shit, second of all. Great, besides, you need more than just money to woo a moving. First, you have to work on your look, then come building up your own personal brand of charm. How do you do all that? Meet me in front of the Millennium Tower later. Millennium. I'll give you a little advice. Aluminium Tower. You do that for me? Sure. Wouldn't be much of an honor if I didn't step in to help such a loyal customer. I'm gonna give this guy a loan and he's gonna spend it in my club and... Money's mine anyway? Wait, I'm gonna give him a loan. He's gonna spend it in the club. Money goes back to me. But then he has to give me back the money. Oh, what a fucking pyramid scheme. Thank you very much. On oh, the next time we meet, come all decked out in your lady killer best. Just don't kill any ladies. You know, the clothes you wear if you had the chance to go out on a date with Mickey. I want to get a feel for your sense of style. Oh, okay. I don't have one, but I'll try. I mean, actually, his clothes aren't half bad. I'd get a haircut if I was him. Maybe some nicer looking glasses. I don't know. There's also another guy, but the episode's over. So see you fellas in the next episode. Bye.